Second in the Premiership against second in Division 1, but it was Charlton who almost took a shot lead. Gary Nelson bringing Tim Flowers into action as early as the seventh minute. And as Blackburn struggled to get going, it was no surprise when the Londoners went ahead. Leeburn leaping and Darren Pitcher chanting his arm, Andy Morrison's leg proving decisive. No more than Pitcher and Charlton deserved, he'd hit the post in the first game at the Valley. 1-0 after a quarter of an hour. And Blackburn with a real fight on their hands. Jason Wilcox and Stuart Ripley seeing their fair share of the ball. Alan Shearer with the first chance of an unusually unprofitable evening. As half-time approached, Shearer managed to escape Charlton Stuart Barmer, but Mike Salmon proved more difficult to beat. In the second half, it was a little like the Alamo as Blackburn surged forward. Shearer given a glimpse of goal, but again foiled by Salmon, the second half's turning point. You had the feeling it wasn't going to be Shearer's night. Again, Ripley ripping through the Charlton defence. Salmon came but didn't collect. And Shearer, well, you don't see that very often. Perhaps he'd not eaten his pre-match meal of chicken and beans. Blackburn continued to press. Another run by Ripley caused havoc but no damage. The shot being dragged wide. It was that sort of night for the multi-millionaires. While the poor relations can look forward to another welcome payday. A fully deserved win after a splendid defensive display and a particularly sweet one for the local boy in goal. Yeah, I mean, it's a hell of a boost for the club. I don't think it's much of a fluke. I mean, if you looked at the first game, I mean, we, we had the chances to win it in the first game. We didn't, but we took advantage of uh, the second game. The lads have done, done the club proud. I think we.